Hello friends, welcome to the first Prepper Pantry Haul of 2024. Uh, this is the Cold War Prepper. Thank you for dropping by and visiting with us. Uh, so just sharing some ideas. Uh, I would like for you to remember that we have been doing this now. Um, well, we moved to the greater Austin area in 1991. So this is, uh, we're replacing items and, and then adding some other items. So uh, this is not necessarily um, the beginnings of what we've done, but we try to give you some ideas of uh, things that we're picking up that you might want to add to your uh, prepper pantry haul as well as what we have. Now, I will tell you that some of the things that we wanted to get uh, were, were not to be found in two or three different stores that we went to. Um, and we are not going out too, too much because we are on the upside recovering uh, from the C disease that we got from uh, uh, from overseas back in 2019, 2020. And uh, they did give us Paclovid, and it, although it tastes like, oh gosh, it tastes terrible. Uh, and, and you can taste it for a day or two even after it stops. That's six pills a day for five days. It did work wonders. And so we are on the upside. You can probably tell that in my voice. You can probably uh, might even hear some uh, sneezing and coughing in the background or even from me as, as this goes through and uh, we record this. But uh, goodness gracious, we are recovering from it. So thank you for all your patience. Uh, we were we tested positive two days before Christmas, and then, of course, that really made for a fine Christmas. But let me share with you what we have received, what we have purchased, and uh, some and some of my thoughts, and uh, then we can go on from there. So, uh, a jar of ghee, a jar of sesame oil. Now, remember, the sesame seed oil is not for cooking; it's for flavoring. Uh, it has a very low boiling point, so you don't want to use that for cooking. We did get some oyster-flavored sauce for some of our stir-fries, some salmon. Now, we kind of focused a little bit on the uh, fish, and I think canned fish and, and, and is going to be critical uh, for our overall prepper planning. So we added one can of, of sockeye salmon. We got some shrimp bouillon one package of skinless, boneless, smoked sardine fillets, and one of flat anchovies. Don't eat the anchovies. I use those primarily in cooking. So um, uh, when you cook those, they pretty much just go away. Uh, and the only thing that's left is the taste. So uh, really great for a lot of great recipes. Uh, we did pick up one pound of lentils and one can replacement can of uh, chili with beans. <clears throat> we fixed a... Um, one meal, actually we get two meals out of it because there's two of us, but uh, chili and rice uh, while we were in the throes of, of that disease. And that was just a, a good, easy meal uh, while we were in the throes of that. One package of Spanish rice, uh, one can of turkey. This is our monthly uh, issue from uh, um, that we get from Amazon. Uh, I told you that uh, I had 14 ounce cans of ground beef and they, and they shifted over to 14 and a half. So we didn't get our ground beef uh, can this month. And I ordered it a replacement from Walmart, but I ordered the beef can instead of the ground beef. So we've got two cans of beef, one can of turkey and no ground beef this month. Uh, but hopefully that'll be back in play for the 2nd of February. We did get two cans of cut okra. That's when we make... Uh, our gumbo, one package of darn good chili. Now, let me tell you, the darn good chili, along with either freeze-dried uh, ground beef or the, the Keystone ground beef, or in this case, we'll probably just use beef, is a phenomenal meal that'll feed eight people very easily. So that's one of the things we plan on doing for our neighborhood. Uh, the beef barbacoa from Hereford is phenomenal. We like to put that over potatoes. Uh, just... So a baked potato with this is just a phenomenal meal. One box of hunting ammunition, one box of pistol ammunition, then uh, some first aid stuff. I'm concerned about uh, lack of hygiene and so wanting to make sure that we have antifungal sprays in abundance um, for post SHTF. We got a new uh, lamp light and uh, two packages of wicks. Oil was not available, so I'll have to go out looking for oil. And um, 
Along with that, the butane for our single burner stove uh, was not available. And I went three different places looking for it as well. Uh, we did get two cans of canned heat. This is the smaller one from uh, Sterno. One can of Zippo lighter fluid, an easy reach lighter, and then a group of uh, uh, 10 t of the small uh, Strike Anywhere matches. So that's pretty much where we are uh, and what we've accomplished over the course of the last week. Uh, since our end of um, 2023 pantry haul Re and uh, hope that you all get some ideas from this and maybe something that will be suitable for your pantry as well. Remember that we're all in this together so we can come out the other side together. Please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other. <clears throat> Gosh, running out of breath. Uh, <laughs> please be kind, polite, and respectful to each other because togetherness is the key. Happy New Year.